Welcome to this time-lapse video of painting a Palomino horse with gouache. If you want to paint this horse by yourself with any medium, you can get a printable coloring page in my Etsy shop. There is a special discount code in the description. This is a simple painting with no background, which is why there is no tape on the left side. This is also why I chose a paper in beige color, matching the horse coat, to make the whole piece cohesive and kind of monochromatic. I am using Winsor & Newton Designer's gouache that I recently got. I am still learning this medium, but luckily it seems very forgiving. By the way, if you like my art, don't forget to like this video and you can also visit my Instagram. I started with mixing some dark brown and covering all of the big shadow areas on the nose, ears and neck. I also made an outline of the details on the face, the eye and wrinkles on the neck. For the shadows on the mane, I used a cooler color, as Palomino Hers has white mane. I like to start with the shadows, as it is easier to make the outlines look more natural this way. After that was done, I filled all the blank spaces with base color of a pale cream color that I mixed from yellow, red and white. I tried to keep the paint slightly watered down, so that it is a little bit transparent and the previous layers can show through. I was preparing only a small batch of color at a time, so the final color layer is not homogeneous at all. Which is actually good while painting animals, especially the single color ones, as we get a variety of shades instead of a solid plane of color. And the animal's coat is never a solid color, so unless this is the style we are going for, small variations are desirable. Otherwise it might look too flat. I decided that the painting needs more of a warm and saturated color and more contrasts. So this bright orange appeared in the painting in the shadow areas. I also covered the mane with light brown color to start building its shadows. Then I started adding colors between light and shadow areas to make the transitions more smooth. This base color layer covered the shadows a little bit, so I had to darken the outlines and the darkest shadows. They looked very dramatic at first, but then I blended them by adding another layers. I kept painting over the previous layers with dark and light values, slowly building up the color that I wanted. If there were any shadows that needed enhancing, I were repainting them. I added some more details in the nose area, I painted a stronger outline at the bottom of the head, neck and shoulder. The wrinkles on the neck were already slightly established with light and shadow. But to make them more expressive, I painted very dark shadow lines. Returning to the mane, I added dark shadows in some places with thick lines. Then I painted highlights with cool pale color that I mixed from mostly yellow and white. I went back to the neck and added the lightest highlights to the wrinkles. At this moment I was satisfied with what it looked like, so I decided it was highlight time. I added the lightest areas in the face and then I painted a longer coat on the neck with short lines. The line between the mane and the body disappeared in the process, so as a final touch I painted a darker line with short vertical lines and also added some bigger shadows. And this is the final painting. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Bye bye!